Is ProtonMail the best private email service on the block? ProtonMail is often seen as the secure, private alternative to Gmail, but a newcomer to the private email space is Skiff. I recently made the groundbreaking decision to switch from Gmail to Skiff. So how do they compare? And which is the best private email provider? Both Skiff and Proton are secure email providers that aim to protect your privacy. They do this through a few methods like end-to-end -end encryption, anonymous email aliases, and tracker blocks. Now, just based on pricing alone, Skiff looks very attractive. Skiff is one of the only email providers on the market offering custom domain emails for free. You'll get 10 gigabytes of storage and access to an at skiff.com email address, or you can connect a single custom domain for free. Proton's free plan is much more restrictive, offering just one gigabyte of storage, only 150 messages per day, and no ability to use a custom email domain. But pricing isn't everything. Chances are, if you're researching a Gmail alternative, you're much more concerned about privacy and security than who has the better free plan. So which provider excels at being that free Gmail alternative? Well, Skiff is restrictive in that it only allows you to access your email through their clients. You can use Skiff on the web or download their Mac, iOS, and Android apps. The difference here is that ProtonMail can be linked with third-party email clients using their Bridge app. This is important to take note of because Skiff cannot be linked to any third-party email apps, and we'll talk more about that later. As far as first-party apps go, ProtonMail is definitely more stable and usable, though I prefer the interface that Skiff has built. ProtonMail has been around since 2014, so they've had a lot of time to refine their apps. Skiff is the new kid on the block, and it shows. I really appreciate their simple approach to design. It's clearly a passion of theirs, as they've made the Skiff UI its own open-source project. But as much as I appreciate the clean design, there are some things about the Skiff client that drive me nuts. To start, Skiff seems to have a few rough edges. A bug, for example, is when I delete an email, it doesn't always immediately leave my inbox. Sometimes I click the little refresh icon and then it leaves, and sometimes I'm clicking the trash can multiple times, only to find that it glitches and removes it from the UI, and then I ended up deleting multiple emails when I just wanted to delete one. And keyboard shortcuts in Skiff, such as shortcuts to delete and archive emails, seem to be hit and miss as in they don't work. I also don't like that the split view requires so much space to see subject information. You can shrink it down, but then you'll just see sender information and no subject information. ProtonMail handles this much better, and while the interface is cluttered, it's a much more stable experience. Normally, I wouldn't care too much about an email provider's first party client, but with Skiff, that is literally your only option to check your email. Proton offers a bridge app that increases encrypts and decrypts email locally on your device and creates a local email server for third-party email clients to connect to via IMAP and SMTP. But Proton Bridge is only available on Mac, Windows, and Linux, so you would still have to use the official ProtonMail app to check your email on your phone. Many Skiff users have asked for a similar app to be implemented, but as of now, Skiff does not have any rigid plans to implement this. Proton and Skiff both let you take advantage of hide my email aliases. Proton functions like a standard email forwarding service. You can generate a unique email to give to a website, and the mail functions to your main email. If you're ever getting too many emails from that website, you can simply disable the email alias and cut off forwarding. Unfortunately, you're limited to 10 of these aliases in Proton's Mail Plus plan. This is because unlimited aliases is technically a feature of Proton Pass, so you need the Proton Unlimited plan to unlock all the features in Proton Pass in order to use them in Proton Mail. Skiff's free plan also limits you to 10 quick aliases, but you can get unlimited quick aliases in their essential plan for $3 a month, which is much better than paying $10 a month for Proton Unlimited just to get the same feature. Skiff also has an intuitive approach to email aliases. Instead of generating a random email that you give to a website, Skiff gives you a unique domain name, such as secretplotipus.maskmy.id. When you want to create a new email address, you can just invent any email on that domain name. And since the domain is tied to your Skiff account, they know to automatically route that email to you. 
But instead of just automatically forwarding the mail to your inbox like other services, Skiff aliases can be organized by alias. You can even create automated filters for each alias, such as having a particular alias not go to your inbox or not send a notification. Skiff also has this noisy senders feature, which monitors your inbox, takes note of senders that send you a lot of mail, and suggests silencing those senders to remove clutter from your inbox. This feature is wonderful for all those times you click the unsubscribe link, but you continue to get newsletters from a sender even though you ask to be removed from the list. With noisy senders, you can just silence that sender and Skiff will take care of it. As you can see, Skiff is a great offering with their free plan, thanks to the 15 gigabytes of storage and the ability to link a custom domain. But after you create your custom email address, you'll probably be looking into having a website. Much like how it's important to pick the right email hosting, it's also important to pick the right web hosting. One of my favorite web hosts is Hostinger, and they've been kind enough to sponsor today's video. Right now, Hostinger is running their Black Friday sale, and you can get their premium plan for as low as $2.49 a month. The premium plan has everything you need to get started, but I think the business plan is the best value, and it's also on sale for $3.49 a month. The business plan includes 200 gigabytes of storage, automatic daily backups, and a WordPress staging environment. One of the things I love about Hostinger is their panel. They've spent years perfecting it, and it's easy and approachable to beginners. And if WordPress isn't a fit for you, you can still take advantage of Hostinger's website builder. The drag and drop page builder, pre-made section library, and AI content writer help you build your site in minutes. And you can use promo code CRAILERMADE to save even more money on top of the Black Friday sale. So go to the link in the description and use promo code CRAILERMADE to build your website at Hostinger. Thanks to Hostinger for sponsoring today's video. And now, let's take a look at the privacy and security aspects of ProtonMail and Skiff. Both ProtonMail and Skiff are open source, and that's part of both companies' commitments to transparency with their mission to protect user privacy. ProtonMail encrypts mail using PGP, which is an open encryption standard used by several email providers like PrivateMail, StartMail, and MailFence. Right now, Skiff uses their own encryption protocol, meaning emails are only end-to-end -end encrypted between Skiff users. Skiff has announced plans to add support for PGP in the future, which is something that I'm looking forward to. This means that if I, as a Skiff user, send an email to a ProtonMail user, it can still be end-to-end -end encrypted. ProtonMail does have more features to offer when it comes to privacy and security. For example, if a user doesn't have a PGP compatible email, but you still need to send a secure message, you can send a password protected email to any email address. The user can open the invitation link and enter the password to view the encrypted message. They also have the opportunity to reply using that link to maintain end-to-end -end encryption with the communication. I really wish Skiff offered a feature like this, but as of now, it's not anywhere on their roadmap. ProtonMail also has an anti-censorship feature, which can use alternative routing to access Proton apps if a government, ISP, or network has blocked Proton services. And ProtonMail has detailed logs with the optional Proton Sentinel program to keep track of all sign-in records on your account, with things like device IP address, device info, location, and more. Skiff is much more bare bones with the privacy and security features. They focused more on the productivity side with features like quick aliases and the noisy senders feature, but I do think we will continue to see them add privacy-oriented features such as support for PGP. There is one feature both Skiff and Proton users can take advantage of, and it's hitting that subscribe button. It's totally free to click subscribe and hit the bell, and you'll be the first to know about new videos. There's only one hang-up I have with ProtonMail. Even though it seems like ProtonMail has quite a few security advantages, advantages over Skiff. Back in 2021, ProtonMail was caught logging and sharing a user IP address after being ordered to do so by Swiss authorities. In response, ProtonMail's founder said, Proton must comply with Swiss law. As soon as a crime is committed, privacy protections can be suspended and were required by Swiss law to answer requests from Swiss authorities. I understand that Proton wants to protect their business, but if it's that simple for privacy protections to be suspended, what's the point of using a secure email provider? Skiff, on the other hand, clearly states that they do not track login sessions, device identifiers, or IP addresses upon login. In fact, they consulted the same law firm that defended Apple against the FBI to work on their privacy policy. 
but Skiff is only three years old. They don't have the same user base or time on the market as Proton to see if they can really be trusted when something happens. Because with any sort of platform like this, it's not a matter of if an incident occurs, but when. And seeing how the company responds when authorities are knocking at their door requesting information. Ultimately, you need to understand that there are flaws with every single privacy and security product ever made. But I'm not a fan of how ProtonMail handled this situation, and I feel more comfortable using Skiff if I have to choose between the two. Another consideration when determining which one is the better fit for you is product ecosystem. Both Skiff and Proton offer a number of different products that you can use with your one Skiff and Proton account. Proton has Mail, Calendar, Drive, Proton VPN, and Proton Pass. Skiff has Mail, Pages, Calendar, and Drive. I'd say Proton has more of a focus on being an all-in-one security suite thanks to products like Proton VPN and Proton Pass. Proton Unlimited is an attractive offering. You get a VPN, a password manager, and 500 gigabytes of storage to use across Proton Mail and Proton Drive for $10 a month. Skiff comes across as more of a privacy-first Gmail alternative. There's no VPN, no password manager, and their products are optimized more for productivity than just security. Skiff Pages is pretty neat. It's this Notion meets Google Docs style word processor that allows you to embed inline tables, code, and images. And there's also real-time collaboration just like in Google Docs. Users can contribute anonymously at the document link without even needing a Skiff account. So if you're just looking for the best free secure email provider, Skiff wins without a doubt. You get 10 gigabytes of storage, you can connect a custom domain, and there's no limits on how many messages you can send. I also think Skiff makes the most sense for teams looking for a privacy-oriented Google Workspace alternative. I just wish Skiff supported sending password-protected emails to regular email addresses, as I think teams would get value out of being able to share confidential info back and forth with clients. ProtonMail is best if you're already invested in the Proton ecosystem. There's no denying it's the smoother, more feature-rich platform. And if you're already paying for Proton VPN and Proton Pass, it might make sense to use Proton Mail as well. I'm just skeptical of Proton's commitment to user privacy after the incident, but if you're comfortable sharing your data with them, I do think the platform is more developed and stable than Skiff at the moment. But regardless of the platform you choose, don't forget to take advantage of Hostinger's Black Friday sale for your website. Use promo code CRAILERMADE at the link in the description to save even more at checkout. And if you are going to use Skiff for your email, Email, I've got an entire tutorial on setting it up on a custom domain that you can check out here.